Good afternoon, Khair, distinguished guests, colleagues, members of the graduating class, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon and welcome to the American University in Cairo's mid-year commencement ceremony at the start of this, our 100th year of service to Egypt and to the world. It's always a special occasion in the lives of our graduates and their family and, our, and the faculty that help bring you here. But in this year of our centenary, it's a special um, historical accident, a, a bit of luck for all of us that we get to be here for AUC centennial year. We have many special activities, starting with the visit of the Board of Trustees next week and uh, a number of things that will be going on. Since our school was founded in 1919, we have aspired to be of service to Egypt and to the world, preparing our students to meet the challenges of the future with courage, with confidence, and with creativity. Our programs provide talented young people with the advanced skills that will launch them into successful careers professionally and make them important contributors to society. Today, we are very proud to award master's degrees to 21 candidates and to award bachelor's degrees to 151 students. We asked much of you as students. Now we ask of you as graduates even more to accept the responsibilities of leadership, to exemplify the kind of courage, compassion, and creativity that we foster in our students and that we celebrate in our alumni. Now it is your turn to give of yourselves and to inspire in others the selfless qualities which we have strived to nurture in each of you. I would ask the graduates to join me in thanking just a few of the many who have contributed to your success, which we celebrate today. Included here in the stage party are representatives of the thousands of people who work, often behind the scenes, to make this university truly extraordinary. I would like to recognize members of the university's leadership and faculty present with us today. I will ask you to stand and be recognized. Please hold your applause. I always say this, and traditionally, people smile and, and, and clap anyway. But um, I will ask you to hold your applause, if you would, until I've called each of the names. Um, first, Ihab Abdurrahman, Provost, Sharif Kamel, Dean, School of Business, Ashraf Hatem, University Counselor, Dina Borai, Vice President for Student Life, Ahmad Abdemagid, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Studies and Administration, Dia Nureddin, Associate Dean for Graduate Studies and Research, George Markey, Dean of Students, and Amr uh, Sharawi, Grand Marshal of our ceremony today and Chair of the University Senate. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Be seated. In addition, I would like to recognize our associate provosts and chairs who play diverse and vitally important leadership roles in the service of our academic programs and services to our students. And I would ask them, please, to stand up and accept our appreciation. And again, I would ask you, please, to hold your applause, although it's futile of me to do so until I have called each of their names. Uh, first, John Swanson, Associate Provost, Assessment and Evaluation. Aziza Elozi, Associate Provost for Transformative Learning and Teaching. Ala Adris, Associate Provost for Research, Innovation and Creativity. Khalid Samaha, Chair, Department of Accounting. Mona Saeed, Chairman of the Economics Department. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and you may all sit down. I would also like to introduce the distinguished faculty members who have taught, advised, and guided our graduates. AUC is blessed. We are truly a special university in Egypt and in this region. We select our faculty from around the world. We pick the best. We pick those who are dedicated to the service of Egypt and willing to come back, often from lives that they have made abroad. We have a diverse, dedicated, and talented faculty of international reputation, deeply committed to teaching, research, and learning. I ask the faculty to rise so that we can recognize them and thank them. Faculty, please rise. Okay. 
Thank you very much. I would also like to thank everyone involved. As you know, it is, we, we're, we're a traditional uh, higher education institution. We're celebrating 100 years of tradition. We're proud of that. But we also innovate here at AUC, and I believe this class is well aware that the format we're doing today is an innovation. Each of our schools have embraced this very important ceremony. It's extra work, actually, but it's worth it because we wanted these ceremonies to be special and more intimate. Now that we've grown to a certain size, it can be more of a challenge. But I think this is, has proven a success thanks to the hard work of the individual schools and their deans, the faculty and staff, um, and the students who have participated in, in designing these. So um, I would like to now uh, uh, celebrate the accomplishments of all our graduates. That's what we're doing all day. The faculty has approved each of them for the awarding of their degrees. Each has uh, completed the demanding requirements of their respective curricula. We offer special recognition to those who have demonstrated particular achievement. 24 students are graduating with honors, cum laude. May I ask those of you who uh, have the cum laude sash, please stand for recognition, all of you together. Congratulations. Another 31 students are graduating with high honors or magna cum laude. Would you kindly stand for recognition? Okay, you may be seated, thank you. And we have 36 students who are graduating with the highest honors or summa cum laude. Please stand for your recognition. Thank you very much. And there's another group of students I would like to recognize for uh, honor because they have already begun a tradition that we hope uh, all alumni will embrace of giving back to this university. Even before becoming alumni, as students, they have participated in the Give 19 campaign, setting a fine example of selflessness and, and giving for uh, future investment so that others may enjoy the experience you've had. I would like to call upon the students wearing the senior class gift cord also to stand up for recognition, please. And thank you for giving back. Okay, you may be seated, thank you. Finally, another group of people to thank who are extremely important this afternoon. The two most important things that any parents can do for their sons and daughters is to uh, are to love them and to educate them. Parents, I salute you in particular. I would also like to recognize other family members, the spouses, and in some instances, the sons and daughters who have supported our students and helped them reach this day. So family members of the graduates, parents, spouses, sons, daughters, would you please stand and let us applaud you for your role in making this possible. Dean Campbell. 